hello everyone and welcome back to my channel again dear friends hope you are all doing well so we are discussing the model question paper for the mathematics for csc stream students and allied branches right we have discussed it so far the varieties of problems today we will discuss the two-way ANOVA and also we have discussed the one-way ANOVA okay if you have not watched yet the one-way ANOVA problem and latent square design I have provided the link in the description box you can go through and watch separately right so definitely you should go through one way ANOVA then only you can understand two way ANOVA problem so the following data show the number of worms quarantined from the GIRS oh boy sahab ye quarantine ye coronavirus to kab ka khatam ho chuka tha yaar ye kya kar raha hai abhi VTU maths mein chalo jane do filhal to hum question ko solve karenge baad mein dekhenge ye virus kya kar raha hai idhar Quarantined from the GI areas of four groups of uh, musk rates in a carbon tetrachloride enthalmintic study conducted two way ANOVA. So, procedure is same, only the difference between one way ANOVA and two way ANOVA is you should calculate two F ratios in this case. Okay, in the one way ANOVA, you were calculating only, uh, sorry, comparing only one F ratio over there. So, which we see later on in the problem. <clears throat> so, first of all, this is your given observation given table so what you have to do first of all summation of these terms 33 plus 41 plus 12 plus 38 divided by total number of observations you will get approximately 28 point something so which is uh, approximately you can take 30 over here so for the simple calculations so i have taken 30 so subtract uh, subtract 30 from each observation 33 minus 30 41 minus 30 12 minus 30 you have to subtract 30 from each observation you will get this these values 33 minus 30 is 3 41 minus 30 is 11 so i have written directly values over here so that the video will get not get too long over here okay this is uh, the table after subtracting 30 from each observation so next table you have to forum uh, you have to again write down these uh, observations 311 minus 18 311 minus 18 8 same table you have to draw then only you have to take addition column wise and row wise okay so first of all uh, calculate the sum of these terms you will get t value calculate these values you will get uh, here 13 like that okay you should sum of these terms okay and you have to take squares of these numbers whatever you are getting in the t you, are, you have to square these terms okay 225 169 you are getting in this case then row wise 11 plus 3 that is uh, 14 14 minus 18 is minus 4 minus 8 minus 4 plus 8 is 4 likewise you have to sum okay so you will get this sum and after uh, getting sum you have to square these uh, p over here okay 4 square is 16 likewise 28 square is 784 these are the values then you have to form the ta another table you have to take down the squares of these numbers so 3 square is 9 11 square is 121 18 square is 324 like that you have to calculate these values now let's proceed uh, with the formulas over there which you have to calculate okay now let's calculate these correction factor over here and tss like that so t we have given uh, we have calculated here that is minus 31 whole square upon total number of observations already given in the problem that is 20 okay so 20 now let me calculate this much okay so this is your minus 31 whole square upon 20 which is equal to 48.05 so 48.05 is your correction factor now total sum of squares is given by summation of xij square minus c uh, correction factor so xi already we have calculated right so this is your 2293 is your summation of xij minus correction factor that is already calculated so 48.05 so you will get total sum of squares that is 2293 minus 48.05 which is equal to 2244.95 okay then sum of squares between the columns that is summation of ti square by ni these all formulas are your are in your uh, handbook over there minus uh, correction factor so this is ti square already we have calculated see here 225 169 576 25 you have to take summation and divide by ni means uh, 225 225 out of these five one two three four five terms so 225 divided by five plus 169 divided by five plus 576 divided by five plus 25 divided by 5 minus correction factor already we have calculated that is 48.05 i hope you are following this is 225 to divided by number of the observations of this particular column okay likewise you have to take now let me calculate this much so this is what 225 plus 169 plus 576 plus 25 divided by 5 minus 48.05 which is equal to 150.95 okay 
so 150.95 is your ssc value sum of squares between the columns then sum of squares between the rows is given by summation of pi square by ni so pi already we have calculated right so see here this is your pi values so 16 divided by 1 2 3 4 so out of 4 you have taken this much sum plus 784 divided by 4 okay plus 289 divided by 4 plus 2304 divided by 4 plus 1024 divided by 4 minus correction factor we have calculated as 48.05 okay now let's calculate ssr so this is your 16 plus 784 plus 289 plus 2304 plus 1024 divided by 4 okay minus 48.05 sorry oh, yes exactly divided by 5 which is equal to 1056 so 1056.2 1056 is your answer for this now let us calculate uh, SSE sum of uh, sum of squares between the errors so this is your TSS TSS we have calculated that is your 2244.95 minus SSC value is 150.95 minus SSR value is 1056.2 so how much we will get so 2244.95 minus 150.95 minus 1056.2 which is equal to 1037.8 1037.8 it is coming over here now let us move towards the ANOVA table okay so that we will solve this further over here so this is your ANOVA table okay where you have to write down these degree of freedom sum of squares mean sum of squares F ratio okay to uh, F ratio you have to compare over here now degree of freedom it is equal to uh, number of rows are in this case here 5 okay so I can take 5 minus 1 that is equal to 4 right and columns are 4 here so I can take 4 minus 1 that is your 3 right and error is simply 4 into 3 that is your 12 over here right now uh, write down the SSR value which we have calculated uh, so SSR is given by 1056.2 and SSC value is 105 uh, sorry 150.95 and SSC value we have calculated 1037.8 now MSR MSR is given by SSR divided by degree of freedom 1056.2 divided by degree of freedom is 4 so let me calculate this so 1056.2 divided by 4 which is equal to 264.8 0 5 right then MSC is given by SSC divided by degree of freedom 150.95 divided by uh, 3 over here so 150.95 divided by 3 which is equal to 50.31 MSC MSC is uh, 1037.8 divided by 12 <coughs> so 1037 Point eight divided by 12 which is equal to 86 86.48 now which is minimum 50.31 so I can take here uh, F ratio as MSR divided by MSC so 264.05 divided by 50.31 so let me calculate this one 264.05 divided by 50.31 which is equal to 5.24 okay the next one is <coughs> MSC uh, this is your 86 right so I can take here MSC divided by MSC so 86.1037 sorry 86.48 divided by 50.31 so 86.48 divided by 50.31 which is equal to 1.71 FR ratio okay so at 4 comma 3 and 4 comma 12 so you, you have to write down here so at F comma F at F uh, at 4 comma 12 value should be uh, 3.69 this is the standard value in the F distribution table but we are getting 5.24 okay so 5.24 is greater than 3. 
0.64 therefore hypothesis is rejected hypothesis is rejected in this case in first case second case is 1.71 so 1.71 is less than 3.69 therefore hypothesis is accepted so this is the procedure simple procedure okay if there are any uh, mistakes in my calculation part i welcome you all to correct my mistakes uh, as just because i am not practicing uh, the problems separately i am making video while making video i am doing the calculation so there may be some calculations wrong so i hope you will correct them and uh, make sure you will mention in the comment box so that i will get uh, some idea and that will be beneficial for some students also avoid mistakes in the examinations